Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Charlie to see you. It was another episode of Being with the Boys. I'm your host, Captain Speaking, the Enforcer, and the Underboss. Give me one, my brother. Tony, you're with my boy, your equity. So, as I. Something in your room needs to be turned down, Tony. What's up? Something in your room needs to be turned down. Should my team do that? That's better. No. That ain't me. I take the turn down. It ain't me. It's not me. I can't hear myself fight right here. You I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. What everybody on it now? What everybody on it now? My TV down. I don't know what it could be. Up, the volume up on your laptop. Oh my! Yeah. Yeah. That better? <laughs> no. I don't know what to tell you, my boy. <laughs> I have nothing to tell you, my boy. I have nothing. The show must go on my head. What y'all do? We got this Pepsi and Jack in the bottle. Okay, my man. Little crown and coat. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Ronald Cole. Keep it with the theme. I got, I got just a good idea. Sam Adams, Summer L, you know. Drink responsibly, y'all. Drink responsibly if you have 21. Please do. Please do. So a lot of good stuff. we jump jumping off in the wrestling world this week. Um, where y'all want to start off? Is it CM Punk drama or this? Uh, Man. That... <laughs> If you don't start with CM Punk, I want to say this one thing. Cleveland don't fuck with CM Punk. <laughs> Cleveland do not miss. That's his, that's his, like, his personal hell is Cleveland. Because wherever he goes to Cleveland, something bad always happens to him. Oh, yeah. Cleveland don't mess with him. He thought it was going to be different this time. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> he thought third time was the show. No, sir. He was wrong. I was like, I think I was more shocked the fact that he lost. I was thinking like, yo, they making him lose because he's gonna walk out. So they thought he's gonna walk out. Like, all right, cool, I get it. But I guess people said otherwise. Yes, sir. But what would be the point of him walking out? Like, it's not gonna change anything. I think he was not. I guess uh, he was really mad about what happened to, uh, with him and uh, for people that don't know, they uh, him and uh, Hangman, Hangman cut a promo a few months ago, if I'm not mistaken. And everybody know Ken, not my CM Punk and um, Hangman and uh, what's his name? Cole Cabana had issues, I guess. Since Cole Cabana's in the uh, Dark Order. And uh, Hangman rolls in dark order, I guess. So what I said, and I guess Hangman says some shit in this promo that CM Punk didn't like, and that's why he came out the week later talking that, calling him out, going to bed for himself. Like, ah, and I guess I guess he got mad backstage. And they said they thought he was gonna walk out. That's what I heard. I don't know if there's any truth to that. So in the comments, if y'all know anything, let me know. Like I like I heard that CM Punk was the reason why Coca Banner has been on TV or in the dark order anymore. That's all I heard. I ain't heard that. I heard that. But the crazy thing is, like if y'all know the history, they are be- like they used to be best friends. So I'm just saying, like what the like what made it turn sour? I think something happened. If I'm not mistaken, CM Punk. Well, somebody sued somebody, and that's how the friendship is. <laughs> Gotta be judicial issues, man. Money. And I remember back when CM Punk first left WWE, he went on Coca Cabana's podcast and cut that long ass pro- podcast and took that long ass interview. And I, it sucked that they that friendship ended like that. Yeah. How you feel about it, Enforce? How you how you feel about it? 
I honestly don't have a feeling about it at all. Um, I mean, I mean, what are we talking about here? Tonight, like it. I mean, really, like, am I liking Cleveland or the fact that he can't he can't he gotta have a twist in his ankle? Go tell me that won't work. He didn't. Even work. He, oh, yeah. he didn't what on it? No. So. So he can go actually probably actually rest his it really broke a hurt foot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know how it goes. You're not gonna see him on television for it. Oh yeah. And they said somebody mm-hmm. said yo, how you kick with your right leg into your left leg. I mean it, it's a possibility if you turn your ankle on as your base yeah. It's possible. Yeah, it's supposed to be the way he, the way he twisted his, his foot. Something was supposed to that had twisted or whatever when he did it. But I watched his foot. It, 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 if something happened, it magically happened inside the booth. Like, I don't see he could have hurt himself. Unless yeah. he was already hurt. And he needed, he needed to finish, you know, he went with him. Well, they did say, like, uh, who, who was it? Shivani did say, like, he, that was his already injured foot or some shit like that during the, during the match. So, yeah. they kept so I saying guess. They come back too early. They come back too early. And um, even Bobby Fish said something about it. Like, he said, yo, man, how you hurt your foot? With a kick like that, Bobby Fish is going. No, that man said keep the he said keep the kicks to the professionals. Yeah, the professor. that that shit was funny to me. I was like, Bobby Fish is an asshole. <laughs> that's a, that's one part I don't want to run into in the dark. Yeah, Bobby Fish looks like he he don't look like he be funny. Bobby feels like he bite people. <laughs> you say bite people? <laughs> like he bite people. Go ahead, like, job, let it out. He wanna he holding it. <laughs> like, after, like it's like like that's his calling card. Call. After he beat your ass, he bites you somewhere. And he's got teeth marks there, so you remember it. <laughs> he, he he is the 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 interesting one out of the group. Don't he right. don't he don't he, got, don't he got a full beard and, and, and a handlebar mustache? Yeah. <laughs> I, Bobby Fish my guy. I fuck with Bobby Fish. He just like he look like he drinks whiskey out the bottle. Exactly. No, he like he drinks whiskey out the barrel. <laughs> Damn. If, no, if he if he wanted to join the brawling brutes, he could. <laughs> yeah. He fit right in with, with Seamus and them. He really would. Like, that's him how and Butch, him and Butch retired to your partners. Thanks. I heard he supposed to be getting his name back though. He I heard he supposed to be going back to Pete Dunn. Thank God, because that is the dumbest. I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind the Butch thing, they, but they could do Pete Dunn, the the Butch Brawler. So I don't know. They give him, they give him his juice bag. What do you call him, like Butch Dunn? But, they, they, they said, but if the but the announcement I've said before when he first came out, I was like, y'all may know him as another name, but here we know him as Butch. Like you know, what I'm saying like. So Speaking it'd be, of, it'd be cool if you got uh, a name back because you know he is, is he not. A Triple H creation. So I, was a, speak, speak, I was like, speaking of that, how do y'all feel about um, the rumors of NXT UK? What well, I ain't rumors. NXT UK Jordan with the regular NXT. Well, NXT three point Yeah, but we gotta take that number out. Can you just please take the number out? Just call it NXT. No, no, no not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> At AC 3.0. This is the third like time we tried it. So, I honestly, I, I, I don't mind it because the, the this fresh talent in NXT needs more fresh talent. Yeah. So why not have them battle the squad in in, uh, in UK and just be, and pretty much, I don't know, I want to say double the amount of people, but Almost double the amount of people that are in NXT by by putting both together and then have it being its own third brand. Yeah, you know what I'm it, like, it, I was like, it's going back to what the Survivor Series probably going to look like. Like, yeah. you know, they had NXT versus SmackDown versus Raw, so you're probably going to get back to that. But I think the most interesting matchup there right now, since they joined forces. Is Braun Breaker versus Tommy Bay for the to unify the titles? Yeah, right. well, they unifying both belts. Yeah, same thing with women. Everybody wants to unify everything now. 
But I, I get it because since they joined, like, to become one brand, that makes sense. Well, if that's the case, no, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you why it makes sense, but it's it, but it doesn't make sense. Because how many titles are in NXT UK? Four, right? The men's, women's, and the tag. No, you got the NXT. You got the the UK title, the women's title, the tag titles. You got the uh, Prestige Cup. The who? The Prestige Cup. Okay, Andre John Moy, got you. So, <laughs> <laughs> but that was actually the no, it's actually defended. So, oh, okay. Well, they, well, there you go. That's 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 better. Those that's it's, but no, nah, I, I, I think they only uh, go only unify probably from what I've seen so far is the women's and the UK title. That's it so far. I'm not really, honestly, I'm not. I say, but just because I would have like kept, I would have kept the UK title, um, because even though, even though they may not want it to feel like it's like lower than the actual NXT title, I feel like it is lower than the NXT title, like all, like an off, mm-hmm. off brand situation, like off, like a branch situation. Right. It's not better than the original, so I would have kept you the NX, the UK title as a as a second to the first, which is the NXT title, like like but Intercontinental I, and US title type situation. I mean, that's when you got the but the NXT got the um North American title for that. Yep. So would you turn if you unify the uh, NXT and UK title? Would you just bring in a European title? As a, as a, as a yes. yes, I would bring in a European title because that that the Euro, the NXT UK title would be known as the European title. That's what it did. That when they first got in. To me, in my in my honest opinion, when they first created if, that, if, phrase, if, if, they they give me a true re- if they can give me a true reason as to why the European title no longer exists, then I'll accept it. But if they can't give me a real reason, they might as well just turn a UK title into the European title or just tell us what it is. The UK title is basically the European title, second to the main NXT title. I don't know. Right. All- You're putting all- more bodies together. They got to compete for more. They can't all wait in line to compete for the NXT title, bro. And to follow that, I've, I've always been a fan of the European title, like more than the Intercontinental. I like the European title. That was all like a. Dino Brown made the European title super cool. I've always been a fan yeah. of the European title. Him and Eddie. Yes, him and him and Eddie. Yeah, no, they did. They definitely did. They're really the oh, only ones I remember. In my head, Dean Lingo keeps popping up in my head like he had it. I don't think he had it. it was he like he had it. I think he had it once. Okay, oh, yeah, then I'm not tripping it. Oh, let me I'm like, Bryson and his. Because I remember some of the people, because William Regal had it. D Lo. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember two people getting the, the European title. Uh, no. Eddie China had it. Jericho had it. Okay. That's some people. Tess had it. Tess did have it. Okay. So, yeah. I don't, I, I feel like it could be NXT's kind of version of those secondary titles. Give people something else to do. I would say it would be on Paul with the, the North American title then, if that's the case. They still got that title lo- looming around the NXT. They still got that? Yeah. Uh, who is it? Hayes? Camilo Hayes still got it. Okay, Triple H had it. I want to Triple H again, D'Lo Brown, X-Pac, D'Lo again, X-Pac, Shane McMahon. It was deactivated in 99. Then D'Lo again, Jeff Jarrett, Mark Henry, D'Lo Brown again, British Bulldog, Val Venus, Kurt Angle, Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, Perry Sadden, Al Snow, William Regal, Crash Hot, William Regal again, Test, Eddie Guerrero, Matt Hardy, The Hurricane, Bradshaw, Christian, Diamond Dallas Page, I didn't know that. This is 2001. Uh, 2002, DDP. Two? Okay. Uh, Spike Dudley, William Regal, Jeff Hardy, Rob Van Dam, and Damn. Unified in 2000. 
at the end of July 2022. With what belt? The Intercontinental? I think so. Oh, how many years was this thing was thing in off in, in, in use? It was from the end of 2020, I think. 2002, and it started in, two, in 97, and all the way to 02. So five years. So in, and within five years, that many people had the title. So it's yeah. a 24 7 championship. Heard you. But it wasn't just spread had, out, though. It was like, Dino had the nose on all of them. They, look, look, they, bro, they slutted they slutted that European title out, bro. Ain't no way <laughs> that many people got that title that many times in five years. So RBD had an 02. Jeff 02, Regal 02, Spike Dudley 02. So April, May, and July. It switched from in July was from Jeff Hardy, July uh, 8th, then went to RBD. That was pretty quick, in it? So that's like like what two months max title reign almost? Yeah, within a month, like a, in a week's like time. Average, like, who held it the longest? Out of like all the title reigns, who held it the longest? She like really damn. So May, March 9th, 02. Then January. Okay, DDP had four from January. He lost it in March. Okay, so Christian August August to January. Fresh August, damn. January. They said, yeah, you're right. They said that time. Right? That, 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 yeah, that, that's the that's that shit got slid out more than the hardcore title. Oh, no. Outside of Christian, I do remember Christian had a title. Outside of Christian, there was nobody had it more than three months. Right. Three to four Is months. Is it no more than three? Yep. Dino had four, I want to say. I mean, I don't, I, just the look of that belt is just amazing. Like, the, just, just, the, just the visual look of this belt is just, I like, I just like how it looks visually. They need to bring. They need to bring it back. They need to bring it back. But yeah, but um, NXT UK merging with uh, NXT. Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's. But then Triple H, they said Triple H uh, told the roster like, "Yo, we switching over. Like y'all can stay or y'all can leave if y'all want." And I heard some people left, and some people stayed. So I was like, "What thing?" I think a match that's gonna come out of this is gonna be a drag a dragon dog. I want to say that's the name. Idiot. I don't watch uh, UK like this. I don't know any of the uh, people. Yeah, I don't. I don't know UK. So I don't know who these people are. You talking about? He, he's the one who beat Walter for the title. Okay. I think that somebody beat Walter. Is, 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 yeah, is, he beat Walter so that Walter can be called up. He didn't get. He didn't beat Walter. <laughs> no, he, no, actually, he beat Walter. Like it was a. One of them never say die type moments. This motherfucker. <laughs> no, legit. He be, it was a good match. Though. It was a, okay. okay. If you watch it, man. Side note. Okay. Gunther. Eighty million dollars on the line to take a Walter chop. Oh, I'm doing. It. Yes. Just one. I'm taking it easily. I'm talking about the one that did. They did that one where they got it freeze frame. You can see the ripples going through the dude's chest. Um, I take it. I'll take it. That doesn't bother me. Hey, you got eighty million for one chop? For one chop? Come on, bro. Bro, I pledged. I'm not worried about that. Please, chop me. Chop me. <laughs> Go Come ahead, on, bro. I'll take it. I, I take I the chop. I had. I, I was a tail. I had no protection. Chop me. Yeah, he he yeah he was that was it for him. Don't worry, let me get that eighty million. I, I'll cut y'all in a couple hundred. Don't worry. Eighty mil, man, easy. I don't give a damn who. I'm I'm, 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 actually, I'm feeling generous. Y'all, I might give y'all a mil a piece. I don't, I don't, I don't no, need I, eighty for eighty mil. I'll take a golden rhino for eighty mil, nigga. I'm being a hostage for a good three weeks, nigga. I'm I'm small. I'm I'm even like Spike Dudley this bitch. I'm a, I'm a after he do it, I'm gonna tighten up like God. But I ain't. I'm not about to fall out of no. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna hit the Tony Baker. Ooh, you tell my family. I ain't got <laughs> no regrets. Ooh. Regrets. I'm gonna survive. I'm definitely gonna survive. I'm gonna That's gonna hurt for a long time. 
It will stay like hell. Yeah, it's gonna stay for a while. You you gonna feel the prints, but it's gonna go you away. Gonna yeah, two days, two days gonna go away. You might see some welts. You might see a little scabbing. Two days, <laughs> it'll go away. It'll go away in two days. Oh well, don't you worry. Okay. Okay, before, uh, moving forward, how y'all feel about the direction Triple H is going in right now with uh, NXT? And with w I mean, that I mean as a whole, because we you, see the difference now. You can see. I the say, I say this: it's a it's a breath of fresh air right now because you have somebody who's who's been around wrestling pretty much thirty plus years. Right. Who's been in the mix? Who's been? Who stood back and watched it? Who studied it? What he's doing is smart. Like he's put. Like you could tell when he got here, everything changed. It did. Look, look at the last pay per view. Like the first pay per view, he was excuse me, ahead of. Look what happened. You got so many people to come back, and everybody's just like, "Oh shit!" Like, hold I on now. Honestly, I'm gonna say it like this. This is old nigga. I know. I really enjoy. I, like you said, I agree. It's a breath of fresh air. It feels better. It feels like they're, they're more live. You got. I mean, I'm looking at the screen right now. You got Bailey. You got EO, and you got Dakota Kai sitting ring sitting ringside behind the commentators desk, talking to Pat McAfee and Michael Cole, talking smack. I'm bang. I bang with the energy they be putting out right now. I'm banging up with the energy that Triple H is putting out. And then um, yeah, another thing is you can see the you can see the wrestlers enjoying themselves now. They really are like Markel, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Raquel, and yeah, they they really like smile like they really having a good time. And the people actually in the audience are actually standing up again. It's not fake cheers in the in the in the background anymore. They're actually standing up for some of these these some of these endings. Like they're like, "Yo, this is fire!" Da da da. You know what I'm saying? I bang with it. Do you think? Yeah, I said, do you think? I was saying the biggest thing. I'm sorry, I was saying the biggest thing about this whole thing, everything makes sense. Everything does make sense. That's the biggest thing. It makes sense. They're even giving. They're even giving this this chick, um, Aaliyah, 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 whatever her name Aaliyah. is. Aaliyah. Her. Uh, there, she's actually getting a, a a more understandable climb now. Like yeah, when she exactly. jumped, jumped at, at the head of the table, had no idea what she was doing. They had to kind of had to they backed up a little bit, and then they're gradually giving her juice again. And I and I'm okay with that because they're it's allowing her to develop as as a talent as a wrestler. And a character. There's a character, but the point the point I'm making is I'm enjoying like the this the women there's more women in here than I've ever seen. Actually competing, like they're like this, like they had a whole bracket of of tag teams to go for this title, and some of those some of those tag teams was NXT. Yep, and it's, I think it's dope to see because right now there's, there's like a last match for who's going to go to championship. That doesn't matter. The point I'm making is that the, what what Triple H is doing, um, and he says a breath of fresh air. I don't think. I think he means maybe he needs to bring back five people, five people max, and I think he needs to cut it off. Okay. Like, like, like I'm talking, like, I'm talking people like, like the like Bray, Sasha, Naomi, like bring back maybe five more people, and then hold that for a bit. Like, the, the, like those five big names, and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna piggyback real quick. I think that a lot of people in business, when it was WWE on the thumb of business, man, people are like. Ah, 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 I don't want to piss the higher up off. I feel they like on edge. Yeah, I think with Triple H is like, I look at it like when you around, like when you with your mom, you got like, you real timid. Dad let you have a little more fun. Your dad let you do a little more stuff. Like, right, dad, we really don't care. Like, he'll still get on you, but dad, right, he won't chill. He gonna let you have a little fun. I think Triple H like, yo, just do your thing. Don't worry about it. We gonna have a good time. And now, now everybody, like everybody's enjoying themselves. They're like, ah, oh, we ain't got to worry about this old ass man telling us what the fuck to do. It's, a, it's also a thing of like. They have, they, they have reverence. There's a difference between fear and respect, right? Right. So they, they respect Triple H, but they fear Vince. They, and, and, I get it. I get it. It, I make, it. I get it. It makes sense, though. Like, that makes sense because he is like 
the top. The he's like, this is like the final say. So he has that reputation of if it's my, if it's not my way, it's the highway. Right. Right. With Triple H, he's more like he lets you make mistakes. Like, he allow you to make mistakes, and then he will teach you after that. Like I, I would have done this. Yeah. Oh, it's like I think I, I'm gonna pick back what you just said. Like Triple H is kind of perfect. Like, I right, go do that. Then he lets you do it. Then I right, see what you fucked up at. Let me tell you how you should have done it. This yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's why I said like Triple H's been around for so long. He knows how it goes. He's he's been through the same exact thing. And then he has somebody who he very trusts and Sean doing the same exact thing in NXT. Right. And so it's like you have two of the most two of the most knowledgeable people you could possibly ever think of as like your boss, right? So this is both, and they will both in read. So yeah. and, it, and also, even though it's you don't want to trust her, Stephanie Man is is been in the business a very long time. Oh yeah, and she knows what she's doing. Like yeah, she knows Stephanie knows what she's doing. She oh, made. She might be like the strict of the two, but she knows what she's doing. Right. I'm gonna ask you this because we spoke about it in the chat. So uh we can go into detail here because we spoke about it in the chat too. So how do you feel about Triple H hiring Road Dog back? Cause they say he 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 may get his job back, so it's now they got Triple H, Shawn Michaels now potentially Road Dog. How do you feel about Triple H hiring those boys? Do you think that's good for business or bad for business? I think, I think, because okay. So why did why did Road Dog get fired in the first place? Don't give me a lie. I do not remember. I don't think he got fired. I think he left. Are you sure? I, I think I got fired. Got in budget cut. I'm not sure. Don't give me a lie. I, I think I, I don't think, know for sure, but I, I thought he left. So my only concern, my only concern currently, is. Keep keeping your keeping your mind in the in the present while tapping into the past. And what I mean by that is the like inner that. attitude. Ooh, say that again. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. I like that. I like that. I like um, that. Keeping basically it's key, keeping your mind in the present while tapping into to the past. So Ooh. it's like the energy from the past back back when. Like the, the certain way um, that you did your promos, the promos, the attitude, the certain words you use to get the to get the, the crowd riled up, but not go over the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they've got more senses now than they've ever had, and that's only been in the last two weeks. So, because yeah. Dolph, Dolph called, um, what's his name, a little a little B before he, he walked out. You gonna sit here on like on a, like a little B, or you gonna come out here and fight me, or whatever? Sure. And I'm, so it's like. Um, the energy and attitude of those eras in the of the past, it's it's sprinkling in in in, in a good way. Like it's not like overpowering, where all of a sudden you got Sable walking around with a chest out. Like it's not overpowering energy. It's just subtle, subtle drops here and there. And I like how it's progressing. Um, the TV for the it basically is like it's they're actually using the TV fourteen rating. They're not making mistakes on the TV fourteen rating like doing radar and being all x-rayed like your boy Xavier Woods. So I think it's good. I like I like the the um the direction it's going. Like I said before, I only need five. There's gonna be five more names that actually make sense. If you give me like one or two from from a whole different company. Maybe give me like one from a whole different company and then give me uh two cats that got let, let go during budget cuts because they're gonna be they're gonna be the faces now. Or one's gonna be a face and one's gonna be a heel. And it's and the crowd's gonna pop because they're back. Who will ever be? Except for Naya. She can stay at the crib, respectfully. Cool. Before you get <laughs> you know, how to actually wrestle, okay. I'm not I'm not banging with it. Like, and for you to actually wrestle, it may take you to have and I'm not trying to play her. I got nothing wrong with her with her size as a woman. But it may take you to lose some weight in order for you to pull off the moves you need to learn how to do. Just walking around, walking around like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, it's not gonna work here. 
Raquel Gonzalez is out here working. You see what I'm saying? She's 6'1". Like, it's a big chick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got women out here who's doing way more than Nia Jax was doing. Not trying to, like I said, I'm not trying to play her, but she's a little bit of a botch machine. She's got a little nasty attitude when she gets caught in her fields, and then she want to punch people in the face for real. Like, come on, son. Like, you got to... So, if you bring in legit people that people actually love, even though they, they were healed at one point, Sammy, Sammy got love in Montreal the other night. That's his home. But he didn't have to work for the love. Like, you know, oh, no, hell no. Montreal. Ah. Well, well, so he was like, hometown. Like, he didn't have to do none of that. He just showed up. Right. And then yeah, when he got hurt, back and oh, he came back that. out. We running on eight minutes, but continue. I'm sorry. Didn't know it was that fast. Listen, the point I'm making is if, like I said before, if, if he just, if he just sticks to the plan of what he's doing, like I'm not saying don't take risks, but I'm saying like, let's let, let, let this run through for a little bit before you take, take a calculated moment. risk, take a calculator. You know what I'm saying? Get, let, let this run for a little bit. Let's, let's get to the end of this. He's bringing back the women's title. We thought we, 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 we had hoped they were going to go in the trash can. So now if you're going to bring it back, one more chance. These teams got to really legitimately do some work. And it's, and it's like, how are you going to do it? You don't have enough women. So are you going to, are you going to, ooh, sorry. Are you going to dissolve the NXT t- uh, tag team championships and then make, and have everybody fight for the one? Like, what are you going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Right. There's not I enough women. Just to switch gears a little bit, do you think that Speaking of that, do you think there'll be? Cause after watching Raw, do you think there'll be like a NXT invasion type angle going on? Cause we still don't know what the fuck the um what's my man what that what the did to the Miz. I'm like, it's like, bro, like I like that. I actually like that. I do too, actually. Like, cause it still plays to Dexter's Loomis character. And then if you see NXT like the next day, him and Indy kissed and he walks away and gets arrested. Mm-hmm. And I like Dexter Loomis as a character. I think he's super dope. And I want to see where they go with that. But just go back to what we were talking about. You said something I want to speak on before the time runs out. Bray Wyatt, do you want to see him back in WWE? And because oh, I know a lot of people yes. say they want him back. Definitely. But not Absolutely. as a lead character. Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. They don't want him back as a <laughs> yeah, yeah. They want him <laughs> as another character. Because if the fiend is wearing his core, they don't want him. They want to because we don't. No. Break, uh, hold on, hold, hold on. I got this. I take this one. The okay. fiend didn't run his course yet. You think so? Talk to him. No, he didn't. Because the reason why? Because that character got rushed. If you pay attention, it got rushed way too fast. Okay, I agree. Especially near the end of it. Nah, so they, they OP'd him in the very beginning. First time he showed up, you could you had you, you took he took six six uh curb stomps. He wouldn't die. It's OP. Unnecessary. He took like six curb stomps, 14, 14 pedigrees, two, <laughs> two falcon arrows, and a partridge in a pear tree, and he kept getting that's up right. laughing. Like, bro, that's, 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 that's your brother. I hate that's your brother. That's your I hate you for that. Bro, that's, hell, no. that, that's Hellraiser pinhead territory. No, no, here's girl. the part. No, the part that made me mad about the Finn character, when he and when him and Randy went at it, I think it was him and Randy, and he got set on fire. Yeah. He came back. He came back. Looking like Jason the X. He was I'm still like, he was still he, cooking. That man. <laughs> That man was still on the, that man was still on the grill, fresh off the he grill. Was smoldering, bro. He was smoldering coming out the bottom of the canvas. He was smoldering Look, like, six in my, and it was like what a week later, a week later. Nah, it had to be. It had to be. Nah, uh, nah. It had, it had to be at the end of that month or something like that. It wasn't too long, but it wasn't like that short time. Like, no, no, it was like that. It was like two weeks or something like that. But I feel like they it, fucked up with the fiend was. They made him. The, the, let, let's backpedal real quick. The fact that this nigga laid the seed years ago with the man in the woods. I need everybody who's listening, watching this. Pause this video right now. Go back and watch Bray Wyatt, Man in the Woods. Hey, he described the fiend to a fucking T. 
And I'm like, I didn't even notice it until I'm like, wait a minute. I, I went back, wow, this man's a fucking genius. And they made him so powerful. And he made the character so fucking powerful. Like, how do you beat something like that? He was no selling everything. So it's like, they made him too fucking powerful. So then yeah. you beat him to Goldberg, of all people. <laughs> Goldberg said he didn't even want to do the job, didn't even want to do it. He said he didn't want to beat him. Goldberg gave him like, like, like 27 spears, bro. I said, that's all the thing Goldberg can do now, is the spear people. He has no moveset. He's like Rick Flair. He still got his jackknife. Barely. It, 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 don't, it, don't, it don't stay up very long, but he'll get it up there and bring it down. If you have the jackknife, yeah, he can hold you up. But if you like 220, you got to remember Goldberg never really had moves like that. He has some moves. No, he didn't. Stop lying. Yeah. I said some. Not a lot. I said power some. bomb is not some. Okay. Oh, yeah. What power bomb is like, not some. Else. Bro, that's, like, that's basic foundation of wrestling, bro. What power bomb did he use? I never used use a power bomb. Exactly my point. He had the gorilla press. If the would ring, it would be spear. <laughs> spear. Jack. <laughs> it makes me you so much. <laughs> Final thoughts. We about to wrap up with two minutes on this bitch. When we oh, my, hold on. <laughs> I hate him for this. <laughs> that's Man, hey, that's Triple classic. H, Triple H is doing a, a good job. I, I and the whole CM Punk thing. I really feel like CM Punk just needed to, to, to take a break, and that's what they did for. Him. I think they set it up for that to happen. <laughs> Yeah, but um, he was take over. I take him on rampage tonight. Can they say he must be getting a rematch in Chicago? Oh, he might win the title where he wins. So we're gonna see. But, but if the, that's the case, then why do the match on a on a? You know what? We got a minute. Of that final thought. Um, based on that alone, that's a dumbass booking decision. Personally, but like opinion. I say, if that's the decision they made based off of what they thought. I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. Nah, I don't agree with it at all. That's dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. But um, yeah, like Enforcer said, Triple H is doing a great job. He turned he turned the fan base around for WWE. Like he turned that mug around because everybody was like, ah, oh, we getting tired of this. And now he comes to the charge like, oh snap, like I'm messing with it again. Cause it's like you get back to your old childhood in a sense. Yeah, cause I didn't. I haven't watched Raw since the start of the pandemic. I, I stopped watching, but now like, let me get Raw one more chance. Let me see what. Then I hear child up like, "Yo, Raw was fucking fire." Y'all, did I say that? I told you like this was fucking good. Oh. Can we say one thing? They let Edge do the Canadian Destroyer. They let Edge, Edge of all people, do it. Oh. Well, this is about to take off. This oh, is about yeah. to take off. Like always, I'm going to say thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Bears the Board. I'm your host, the captain speaking, Enforcer and Underboss, and we are out of here. Ah.